Um, what up, Council? Uh, my name is Chad Kroger. Uh, first, I just want to say I'm super stoked to be here. It's an honor to see you again, and I must say you guys look more bronze than ever, so props to you guys for that. I come to you today because, unfortunately, the division in our country has gotten worse since we last spoke. This division made me bummed, and I was worried I was going to stay bummed. But the little bit of stoke I had left in me made me watch the first drag race from the Fast and the Furious, and my stoke meter filled right back up. And that little bit of bummer was like, dude, I almost had you. And I was like, almost had me? You never had me. You never had your car. Thank you for your attempt at honoring Paul. I genuinely believe that using the statue to ward off the sharks is a worthwhile endeavor. But to be quite frankly, the statue you made is too small. Paul was a giant among men, and a one-foot statue is not gigantic enough to unify this nation. I still love you guys, though, and sincerely, there is no beef. <laughs> but America loves size. The statue needs to be 12 feet tall so that it can ward off 12 times as many sharks, and perhaps more importantly, bring our country together times 12. With your permission, I'd like to unveil my perspective statue design. Thank you. Are you donating that to the city of San Clemente? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I also have another artist rendering tin. So are you suggesting with or without legs? I'm sorry? Are you suggesting with or without legs? I think uh, with legs is preferable, and uh, maybe van shoes, I think, would be, or Converse. Um, but I think those are pretty stunning, and I, from your reactions, I think you guys agree. Um, imagine if we had Paul on the pier. There's nothing that could make you enjoy your breakfast burrito more. Imagine you're someone immigrating to San Clemente, and the first thing you see upon your arrival is Paul on the pier. There is literally nothing that can make you feel more amped upon your arrival. Now, I'm pretty sure I just generated a ton of momentum, so I'm going to ask you guys, can we break ground before Thanksgiving? I, I can speak for the council on this one. <laughs> it's hard to break ground on the pier, bro. <laughs> okay. like the ideas, though. If you leave the pictures, we will consider that. Thank you, council. Love you. JT, is it poor? Uh, par. Par? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, first off, I'd like to say that I'm deeply honored to speak to the esteemed council. Um, I'm a resident of, of San Clemente. I live with my mom, and I'm also a fellow supporter of the Statue for Paul initiative. Uh, to be completely candid, public speaking terrifies me, and with your permission, I would like to donate my time to Chad Kroger. Okay, um, Chad, I'm going to have to do this solo. Thanks for your vote of confidence, Chad. Um, Chad was well prepared for you guys to reject his uh, counter statue proposal, and we are deeply honored by the one-foot statue, but it's obviously too small to create a global impact. So you mentioned that it's hard to break ground on the pier, and on that uh, point we are willing to agree. That is why we think we should take advantage of the San Clemente Cliffs. <laughs> That's breaking a lot of ground. I'm calling shenanigans. I did not. Tim, Tim I was not. in cahoots, I think. I did not that. Yeah. I think Tim should be on charge of the, uh, that committee. One of the Dakotas has Mount Rushmore. We could have Mount Paul Walker. If we just put our hearts into this, I know we could get it done. And if you're thinking that's not doable, we have an additional proposal that I think might entice you.
Is that first face Chris Ham? <laughs> 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 One of the most heartening things after Chad's first proposal was to see how many people truly believe and love Paul Walker, and we really feel like he could be a uniting force for the community. So let's honor Paul and let the healing begin, and let the world know San Clemente as the home of people who made the dream of unity their reality. Thank you so much. Thank you.